From resume retirement to stepping up being a new CEO of the company to true base not being the head of correct WWE Creative. Are we gonna see better days with WWE? Yo, what's up everybody? This is my name is Adrian Black. Welcome back to Adrian Black Spirits right here on the PWS Zone. I must apologize for my voice. I still get over a sore throat. I've been doing it the last couple days, so my apology was if I sound, uh, sound different, sound uh, pretty crappy. I do apologize. But I want to come on here and talk to you guys about this situation because <laughs> it's a situation I, I Stay away from for a while because you see, yeah, guys like the uh, April Brown, the professor, the Bubba Cruz, talk about this. Like, a week by week, when they all all read down, like, every thing, every, every new, new thing that happened with, with this whole Fisherman situation, they were over, over, they were over there in the previous so cover every single thing. Now, here's my two cents on this whole situation. Um,. No visit man situation, no scandal of him, him signing the Mideas the Mideas women sign and NDAs, not disclosure agreements, after having an affair with them, affairs with them, and paying up millions of dollars to set up, set up one of being apparently being a, a former employee to the, with a company. It's a very sticky situation. It's a very uh serious situation to the point that he said uh we uh step stepped out. He, I mean, let's face it. There's a man to step down, retired about five, ten years ago. He was sitting sit, sit near a freaking scandal like this to make a step down to, to and give the CEO uh, uh, rights, uh, the role to his daughter, Senator Man. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he might come back after this whole thing dies down, but I highly doubt it. Um, but then again, this is with a man who we talk about, and was a man would do anything we he could to we go about him. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I don't think that he's. he's I don't think he's, he's really retired. I think he's still working with the company somehow, some way, some form. Always in, in the year year of seven man, Triple A. So anyone who's working there right now, I'm pretty sure right now since Mr. Man is gone, Kevin Dunn, that little B with teeth bastard, he's not safe. <laughs> he's not safe. Especially what he said about Becky Lynch being not, not not being attractive and him and him saying what him having uh, his thoughts on Becky Lynch, his thoughts don't do not matter. Everybody know that that BBT bastard is a fucking idiot. Cause look, look what happened to Becky Lynch. She became she's she one of the biggest stars in, in WWE. So his thoughts, his opinions do not matter. Now let's get to the, the whole situation at, at hand. <coughs> After you have Mr. May retiring last week on on, on Friday, it was announced that Stephanie McMahon was be would be the CEO, the chair chairwoman of the board in the pl in the place of Mr. Man. And also you have go ahead Nick Khan over here working along, alongside Stephanie McMahon, the guy that who was kind of responsible of, of all the people getting released during the pandemic. Um, and now you have Trip Race, a guy who. We should retire due to uh, a heart, his heart, uh, heart event that happened uh, a few months ago. He is back uh, working back days, and now we heard instead of being Bruce Prichard being the head of creative, it'll be Triple H. And listen, say what you will about Triple H as a wrestler. Say I say what you will about him as a person. I know Triple H. I know Adrian Brown has his his. He hates he, he more bird passing. I get that. But, you gotta admit that this guy knows what, what the fuck he's doing when it comes to business. When he wants to come out to writing and creating. That's why uh, the black and gold era of NFT was so good. That's why it was, people were labeling, were labeling in that, that era of NFT as the third brand. You know, it wasn't. But, I'm pretty sure as Trubase, with Trubase as as the head of creative, Maybe things will be a little bit different, and especially if 
they leave it towards to TV, go back to TV 14. They might, they might add, add, add a little bit of a spark to, to the, to the shows for Raw SmackDown. I mean, what they, are, are they, are they going to take advantage of that? Probably not. I'm probably going to take the time because I don't, I don't see them, like, like, as soon as they go back to TV 14, saying, like, fuck, pussy, cunt, and have blood all over, over the place, they're not going to do that. You got to take some time. But, pretty sure, I don't think, uh, WWE really going to be, um, that extreme when they go back to TV 14. They're not, not, they're not going to be after era of craziness in WWE, if you, you guys are thinking, thinking that. We're not going to see no bar pain matches, we're not going to see no, uh, Lingerie matches, no pillow fights, no slide set celebrations. We're not gonna see all that, so get that out of your head. But the best, the best question: Would this make WWE a little bit better, a better product than it was before? With this man being on, he's he retired, he, he's done. Instead of, maybe, instead of being the new new chairwoman and Triple H being the head of creator, would it be better? Yeah and no, because it might be a little bit better, but that's not saying much. But all this shit we've seen in the past, before all this ridiculousness happened, happened, it was a lot. It was just a lot of problems, a lot, of, a lot of problems with the product not being watchable, and all the and the people, all the incidents happened last week. I mean, uh, well, last last uh few months, it's been got it. Like with, with Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out, with the Women Tag Team Championships being just thrown out, thrown in the garbage, much like the NXT Women Tag Team Championships, and to the Vince Man situation, the scandal that people were, were just couldn't couldn't get enough of, and it is just end up just adding on to the story week by week, and he ended up being he ended up step, stepping down, he ended up showing up on Raw SmackDown trying to. Trying to just cut up the whole BS of him being a a, a, a billionaire pervert. Yeah, freaking Titus O'Neil be the, the be, he try, try to have Titus O'Neil come out there and just try to say that we don't do waste. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about minorities. We don't, we don't make fun of those those things. You, you do. Y'all you been doing that for years. Titus O'Neil, I don't know what the hell happened to you when you when Rizzo Man suspended you for three days for for touching touching him. But you've been gone soft. You've been nothing but a freaking talking black guy for the WWE. If it was a man in particular, like I never go over the fact that you had, you were basically, you were basically forced or you were you volunteered to host WrestleMania 37 with Hulk Hogan, the war people, Hulk fucking Hogan. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into all, all, I'm not getting that, but. I do think the WWE can be can be better with the new regime, with Stephanie May being the new boss, the Triple May being the head of creator. I think it'll, it'll be it'll be better, but it will take some time. But as far as I'm concerned, I have a high doubt that they're gonna be to get any better. I really do. I really do, we do, we do uh, we do think that because they have plenty of chance to make it make it better, and they have not capitalized on it. For for years, so hopefully they get their head out of their asses and make it better, and maybe uh, people from the past that were were fans of WWE will come back and enjoy and be fan fans again. Because right now it's kind of hard to be a fan of WWE with all the problems that they have, both in the ring and outside the ring, but. That's all. That's, that's my take on this whole situation. The whole, the uh, freaking they, the WWE literally second days, second days up again, as what Richard Man would say. But that's all my thoughts on this, this whole situation. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Do you like the the new direction that the WWE is, is uh, pointing towards? Do you like that idea of having the uh, Triple H being head of, head of creative now? And do you think Seven Man Man be will be a better is a better choice of being? The CEO, CEO, chairwoman of the board. Uh, now that it's, it's, it's retired, quote unquote. Let me know down below. And again, apologies 
uh, that I did, did for me talking like this because I have been doing this all the last couple, like couple days. It, it's getting better, but I want to apologize again because I try to try to do try to do uh, all that I could to not cough and just act like I, I'm dying. <laughs> but hopefully, it gets, it gets better uh, day by day. But let me know down below, down below what you think about this, the, 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 the idea of what the re, uh, what direction they, they, they're going to. And like, subscribe, tap the bell to get about, don't miss any of my videos. And be on, be on the lookout for August because it's going to be a uh, pretty big month for, for uh, uploads on, my, on, on this channel. So until, the, until that time, I'm not going to ever sit in a black. I'm out.